Throughout the 1900s, Mexican Americans experienced widespread racism and struggled to establish an identity for their group in the United States. In the Southwest, especially within the U.S. Mexico borderlands, Mexicans were used solely as a readily available and cheap labor force for farmers. White Americans during this time created the stereotype that individuals of Mexican descent were low-class, dirty, uneducated laborers. As the civil rights movement in the 1960s progressed, however, the accumulation of discriminatory acts aimed toward generations of individuals of Mexican descent prompted protests. Radical social activists refuted assimilation and instead embraced their Mexican heritage. The rise of Chicanismo in California energized Chicana and Chicana students to demand an education that integrated their own backgrounds. Student activism throughout high schools and college campuses sought to address educational discrepancies. Among the most direct and aggressive of these demonstrations were the blowouts or walkouts guided by leaders like Sal Castro that occurred in East Los Angeles in the late 1960s. Students protested the poor quality of education in their school district. Demographically, students of Mexican and African American descent comprise the majority of the student populations of the schools in East Los Angeles. Yet half of the Chicano student population were annually forced to drop out of high school due to the lack of basic readiness skills, such as reading and writing. The rise of the Chicano Chicana movement allowed students to vocalize their opinions against negative aspects of their experience as students as individuals, and as a community. The written demands included a means of improving the basic readiness needs of ethnic Mexican students. These needs called for the implementation of programs such as bilingual instruction and college access help. Chicano and Chicana students who participated in the walkouts also advocated for the right to incorporate their heritage within their academic environment. the Santa Barbara targeted the educational environment of Chicano and Chicanas. It was a document created to help Chicano and Chicanas attain college guidance, initiate the formation of Mecha, or the Movimiento Estudantil Chicano de Aslan, and eventually the establishment of Chicano studies programs in colleges. When Mecha began to shape, its primary concern was to make a curriculum program and academic major relevant to the Chicano cultural and historical experience in America. However, the actualization of the Chicano and Chicana studies programs in schools even today has proven difficult. Nonetheless, by targeting the education system in which Chicanos were significantly unsupported, student graduation rates have significantly improved and more students of color continue to receive the basic readiness skills to attain a higher education. Although an ongoing struggle to establish the creation of mechas and Chicano or ethnic studies programs at college campuses nationwide re-solidify the ethnic pride evident in the language of El Plan.